click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that how can we determine uh, the melting point of a particular solid and now based on that only we are going to determine the boiling point of a particular liquid. So in this topic we are going to discuss about the same thing as well as we are also going to discuss about the method to determine the boiling point of a liquid. So now let us discuss about that. <music> So in this topic, we are going to determine the boiling point of a liquid. So for that, it is very much essential for us to understand what is actually boiling point of a liquid. So for that, we have the definition of boiling point, which is as follows. That is, the boiling point of a liquid is defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid becomes equals to the one atmospheric pressure. Obviously, we understand that uh, a liquid, whether it would be volatile or whether it would be non-volatile, it will have a certain kind of vapor pressure at a particular normal temperature. But what we have to do is we have to determine the boiling point of that particular liquid. So we are providing such a temperature to that liquid such that the vapor pressure, which is at a normal temperature, which have a particular vapor pressure. So that vapor pressure of that liquid should be turned into one atmospheric pressure. And that temperature which we have provided to the liquid, that temperature would be considered to be the boiling point of that liquid. So this was nothing but the definition of the boiling point. So now let us understand the main topic and the main topic is the method to determine the boiling point of a liquid. So for that we have the explanation as well as we have a uh, procedure so that we could understand the boiling point and how to determine the boiling point of a liquid. So we have so we have this diagram so that we could explain that as how can we determine the boiling point of a liquid. So there are certain procedures that we have to follow and the first thing is uh, we have to take a basically a sodium fusion tube or basically a fusion tube that we have uh, right over here. So for that we have this diagram and this diagram will explain that how can we determine the boiling point of a liquid. So the procedure is as follows that I am going to explain. So the first thing that we have to take is we have to take a fusion tube and this is the fusion tube that we have as you could see over here. And we have to insert a particular liquid or the liquid for which we have to determine the boiling point. So we have inserted the liquid over here. And the next thing that we have to do is we have to take a capillary tube and we have to uh, basically seal the capillary tube from one end. So this is the seal end as you could see over here. And one of the end is basically an open end. So that should be inserted in such a way that the open end should be inside uh, the fusion tube while the sealed one should be outside the fusion tube. So this is what we have over here. So now this fusion tube which is basically uh, a very small uh, apparatus that is from 5 to 6 centimeter long. So that has been tied to the thermometer and that is tied to the thermometer with the help of a very fine thread as you could see over here. This is something a setup where we have uh, done here where the thermometer is being tied up with uh, the fusion tube which uh, consists of the liquid or the desired liquid of which we have to determine the boiling point as well as the seal and uh, capillary tube. So now this has been tied in such a way that uh, it should not get loosed and what we have to do is we have to determine the boiling point of the liquid. So that thermometer along with this uh, fusion tube is been connected uh, in, in such a way uh, in this apparatus as you could see over here because this is the thiel strip that you could see. So the setup is been done and the thing that we have to do is we have to basically uh, apply the burner over here and uh, while heating this arm of the thiel strip obviously because of the convection flow of the uh, current of heat then this will basically this region where the liquid has been present in the fusion tube along with this which is tied to the thermometer it will get heated up and as well as we know that the temperature it will go on increasing. So when the temperature is going on increasing then there will be such a point where we could find that uh, this region or we suppose if I am talking about this one. So from this region where we could find that the continuous bubble of uh, the liquid it will start. So the continuous bubbling of the liquid it will be going on increasing if we increase the temperature or the basically if we apply more heat at this arm. So there will be such a point that uh, the continuous flow of bubble it will go on increasing and obviously if the temperature decreases we could find that uh, the bubbles uh, that we are generating it will go, uh, decrease also. So there will be a certain point by increasing the temperature as we have discussed over here or while providing the heat uh, at this arm of the thin strip there will be a certain point where the last bubble we could find that it has been generated through this end of the capillary tube. And we would also find that there will be rise in the liquid in the capillary tube. So that point where we could find the last bubble that has been coming out of the open end of the capillary tube as well as we could find that there is a rise in the liquid in the capillary tube. That temperature where we will observe that 
that temperature in the thermometer if we observe that is actually the boiling point of that particular liquid. So this is how we can determine the boiling point of a liquid. It is a very simple setup that we can do. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know about that uh, how can we determine the boiling point of any kind of liquid. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.